right, should we get this kicked off? Let's go, beautiful. We have some special guest speakers that I'm super excited to bring up. So funny, it's, 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 it's everybody's hungry right now. Okay, so um, real quick, I want to I wanna set the foundation and, and really introduce kind of the power of this call. And then I want the pioneer partners that flew out to LA and really, you know, got to experience the partnership of our new manufacturer and, you know, be there and all their takeaways from the, the last couple of days, but don't go anywhere. Cause Tom's going to wrap up with a powerful short, short, but you don't want to miss it plan. Like what now? Like literally you guys, this has never been a better time to take action. And so he's got a really great short little training that you're not going to want to miss. So, um, before I bring up the first speaker, I wanted to share, if you're new to Savvy or within the last six months or so, this all started and I'm going to try not to get emotional as I share this real quick, but I want you guys to see the journey and very first thing I'm going to say is you are in the right place, right time period. So I know that sounds so cliche. Good. I know it does. But I am telling you, in all, in all of our personal experience and what I know we're about to do in the industry, get excited. You, it has never been a better time to be here. And you're going to be so excited after this call to know what we just experienced. So I want to take you back to day one. Um, this all started, Tom and I we're so blessed, right place, right time, whatever, God's divine hand. And we ended up on a houseboat in the middle of Lake Powell, looking at the stars and dreaming with a man named Ken Porter. And all we talked about was how amazing of a company it would be to impact millions of lives through a different way through fashion and clothes and things that make women feel incredible and smart men that see this as an incredible business opportunity. And we talked about how fun it would be and how community driven it would be and how we'd have fashion shows and all these ideas. And this was July, 2019. Are you gonna, are you gonna back up and tell the, the, the pre-story real quick? I wasn't going to. Just really, fa really, fast. really, really fast that we knew, like we saw another model out there that was not doing it the way that we thought would be worldwide and global and, 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 and not more, not an online presence. So we're like, oh my gosh, if anybody took what this other company was doing in, in our industry, more like party plan and do it in a different model where it's more like Instagram worthy, like online worthy, it would be lights out. And someone says, hey, I know someone who might be open to doing this. And literally within a few days, we were connected with this man, which is Ken Porter, which we knew of in the industry. And we're like, we need to meet you tomorrow. We, we don't care where you're at in this world. We're meet, we want to meet with you tomorrow. We want to talk to you about this, this vision. We want to see if you're open to you know, doing this thing with us. He's like, well, I'm, on my, I'm on my family vacation. I'm like, okay, we're coming to you. <laughs> you did that. We're, I don't care, I don't care <laughs> if it's a lunch meeting. Like, can you just take like five, 10, 50, 20, like just even half an hour, just like lunch meeting. And he's like, come on, let's go. So we, we packed up our whole family because we were going to make it a family trip and do other things. But he invited us on the boat, stayed the night. We literally stayed on the night. Um, and so, so that's where the story picks up. Yeah, nine hours. We knew, one way. like we knew. And, and we knew. And really what we needed was to look him in the eyes and just be able to trust. Like we were looking for a home. Like we've been in the industry and we've had quite a roller coaster ride, but we needed to know that we could trust this man. And he said something on this trip that I will never forget. And you've heard it come out of his mouth. But I'm telling you in this moment where we're talking, we're dreaming, he's telling us how this company is going to go global and we're going to impact women globally. And he has such a heart and passion for that. But he said one thing that made me like jump out of my skin and say, yes, it was this. I am all fight and zero flight. I want you to know I'm all fight and zero flight. I'm going to fight for you. I'm going to fight for the people who partner with this company. I'm going to fight to win. I have no other option but to win. And I was like, that's what I, that's what I need. I knew I was looking for the who. We're all looking for the who. We're excited about what we do, but our alignments and who we partner with is so powerful. And so all fight, zero fight. Thank you. It's so powerful. And you see this in this man, like you've seen it. So let me fast forward. Then day one happens. I do a webinar. We talk, I'm like, can do a webinar with me. And, and I talk to 13 of my friends and we get on a webinar and we're like selling the vision of this thing. We have nothing. And guess what? 
the 13 women say yes. And so what do we do? We take them to this one page, little fast throw up uh, website that we're all going to enroll from and actually like pay our $9.99. And it didn't work for three days. The site didn't work. Nobody could enroll. And I started panicking going, everyone's going to say no. Everyone's going to go away. And so we did paper apps. Fast forward. It was like Christmas. This big mystery box showed up on our doorstep. And I'm like tearing it open to see what's inside. Because you guys, we paid $9.99 yeah, DocuSign. and got a mystery box of clothes. Yes, we did not, DocuSign and not, documents. <laughs> and not a, not a good mystery box. And so I opened this box and I'm telling you, and I'm like, hmm, all right, well, mm, okay. And everything's black and nothing really fits because it's kind of this big. And long story short, it didn't matter. I believed in the vision. We knew where we were going. We knew where we were going. Fast forward. We did a live event. Guess what? 80 people showed up. I thought maybe we'd have like 12 people. 80 people. Christy was there. Lisa up. was there. Christy, yes. Some of the people on this call were there. Then at the end of November, guess how many people had joined us? 64 people. All in a vision with nothing. Okay. January. Oh, sorry. By the end of December, still on vision with nothing. 776 people joined us by December, 2019. January 11-11, we finally launched a website. I'm, I've got to build this up because I'll, I'll go fast. I'm gonna, this, this is a long part, okay. It's like, hurry up, we got a lot to do. Okay, this is, is this interesting to someone? Like this is the beginning, this is the birth of Savvy. So January 11-11, at 11 a.m., we launched Savvy with a website and actual clothes. Like you could enroll and pick out clothes. How amazing is that? And so guess what? The site didn't really work. All the prices were wrong. People were getting boxes with a blend of the prior company we launched from with polka dot stripes and flowers all on one item in their legging box. It was really exciting and a lot of fun. It was, it was a, a crazy and we're like, it's okay. We have the vision, but guess what? January, we had a 1,033 people join us and over 300,000 in sales. Amazing, day one. Okay, let's fast forward. We do our first retreat. Is Amy White on here yet? We do our first retreat in Puerto Vallarta. And this is where the leggings, my good friend, Shannon, she's I'm like, here. Oh, you're here. You remember this. You came to this and you're like, I think I'm out. It was the I think I made a mistake. Craziest is this going to work? Is this really going to work? The look on Amy's face in Mexico, like, what and, 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 and she's looking Did at her I husband, David, she's just like, do. I just left a big six figure income. I'll let you share, share if you want. But my, my good friend, Sh our good friend, Shannon, bougie, like all I wear is a lemon and, and well, we're doing yoga on the beach and it splits right up the butt crack. Just poof, all of a sudden we can Hello. see Hello. So it's okay though. Fast forward. June, 1.2 million in sales. July, 2.3 million in sales. August, 3.8 million in sales. September, 4.3 million in sales. December, 5 million in, in sales. 17,000 people had partnered with us, all believing in a vision. Guys, the product was like a vision that we were going to be an amazing company one day. And so what we experienced this weekend was us seeing like it's happening. Yeah. This is happening. You, you know what one thing to know is that we did 4.8 million, almost five million dollars in sales within a, like within that year. But we know for sure we had the most duplicatable system, the best product, the newest model. We all that the, like the perfect storm was there. And of course, COVID was actually a blessing because everybody needed something else to do, right? But literally, literally, if we had what we're about to mention right now, and the founders are about, and the, the pioneer partners are about to mention right now, we would have probably be doing 30 to 50, maybe 60 million a month in sales. And we would have been maybe one of the biggest companies within two years. And we're still one of the fastest growing in the world. We're still built one of the biggest teams in the world in such a short period of time, which proves we've got the greatest model in the world, but we needed, we needed the it factor that we didn't have right now, which was the right relationship at the right time while we were building this foundation but guess what things are changing and you're going to hear about it here in a few minutes yes so by the way hi christina was i just saw you're on here so glad you're here okay so with that i'm going to pass it to who's we've first? got who's first um, i know lisa's on a time crunch 
So we have Lisa and we have Christy Bellston, Holly and Amy and anyone else that was there that is, is here. But Lisa, do you need to go first? Yeah, I know you have a team. Just go. Call. Just rock it. Go okay. ahead, Lisa. Lisa, why don't you kick it first and then Christy Bellston, then Holly and, we'll, and then Amy. All right, let's go. At the end. Okay. Awesome. Yes. Okay. So I was one of those first people with Kim on this wild roller coaster of a ride these past two years. <laughs> Let me tell you what I experienced these past couple days in LA elevated us as a company, as brand partners to a level that I can't even explain. Like wow. it's going to take us it's going to take us global, which is super exciting. So I know lots of people are going to share about Dragon. I want to share a little bit about Ken Porter. I was so blessed to sit at our at his table our last night, and he literally talked for the whole time. And it, all of us girls were just like notes taking like crazy. This man's heart is really truly for us. He genuinely wants us to win and he's going to do all that he can for that to happen to for us. He's going to lay out the tools, the things, all the things that we need to be successful. Like that is where his heart is. And he was talking to us and it was such a blessing to hear straight from his heart the love that he has for, for what he's doing. It's not about the money. It is not about the money. That's just something like a side extra thing. He really, truly cares about us. And I took some notes. I just wanted to share just a couple things. He, he was kind of sharing with us how he would make connections with people if he were on our, on our end, if he were in the field. He was talking about being persistent, being consistent, really truly connecting to people, finding out what their pain points are to help them, to serve them. Guys, that's why we're here. We are here to serve others. This is not about us. This is about serving others. And it really was just a really loud statement coming from Ken um, about what he was saying. And that one thing I will say, guys, this vehicle and of network marketing is such a stinking gift. Like it is incredibly insane, like no other, like where else can you go to grow yourself personally, right? Personal development. There is no, and I've been in the industry. I've, I've been a hairdresser. I've had regular jobs. Like you don't get what you get like you get here in this network marketing industry. Like it really, truly, I've changed drastically in these past two years. And what we have in Savvy, not only do we have, and we talk about this all the time, the best leadership among all of us, the best company we're in at the right time with the right people, having the right relationships like Dragon Crowd, taking us to the next level in, merch in our merchandise. And the love, the community, what we have, there is no other network marketing company like us where we all can literally lock arms together no matter where we are in this company and help each other and serve each other. Like I'm sure you've seen all the posts from all of us leaders from this event, just iron sharpens iron. You know, we are here and in it to, to win it and for you guys to come alongside of us and just hit the road running right now, especially right now. So I'm gonna let other amazing or um, other amazing leaders share what they got from Dragon. But I mean, I could seriously talk about the experience this past couple of days, like forever and ever. Oh, good girl. Especially since being in the beginning and just having the excitement that I see that you're on fire with. It's so awesome. 
All right, Miss Holly O'Brien. Christy said you're up next. Yeah, Holly <laughs> O'Brien. Just so really quickly, and I should have said something uh, uh, with Lisa. Holly O'Brien is one of these people that, and many of you already know, she was like, didn't have a lot of time, never did anything like this before. And she just been blossoming them in and getting on fire. So excited to hear from this amazing human. Holly, where you at? Just say hi real quick so we can find you really fast. Hello. 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 Awesome. Hello, hello. Where are you? Where are you? Where is it at here? Um, give me a second here. Almost there. Okay, rock star. We are boom chickalaka. Good. All right. There you go. Yay! First right. off, thank you, Tom and Kim. I wouldn't be who I am today if it wasn't for both of you and Christy. So you started my journey and I'm forever and ever and ever grateful. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to talk about um, what impressed me most with Dragon. So we're sitting there and we're having this beautiful conversation and um, they're, they're explaining to us a little bit about Dragon and, and what their vision is. And after they spoke, if you, you know, a cartoon, their jaw like drops to the floor, like, it's like oh, that was me. If my jaw could have dropped to the floor, that's what would have happened because I was in such shock of excitement that Dragon is literally has the same exact vision and mission as Savvy. Here's the cool thing. Dragon didn't come in to imp impress us with who they've worked with, the who's is who's, how they make this, how they make that. They didn't try to impress us with all the amazing, crazy, amazing things they can do. They impressed us with their heart and why they do what they do. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> I'm like, I was in shock because I was like, did we seriously just get to partner with someone who has the same mission, the same vision as we do? And it was just to me, I was like, oh, this is real. This is happening. This is a partnership on the same level. So what was great is they talked about quality, but they talked about quality from a perspective of people first, people over profits. The quality matters because it's their baby. It is their life. When they describe what they do and how they work and the fabrics and the clothing, they don't talk about the aesthetics of the clothing. They talk about the love of what they do and what they build. Um, so the amazing part is they start off with showing their why, not the what. They showed the why they do what they do, not what they do. And we were listening. They have a deep love for the quality because it's their baby and deep love for the people that work there. The working environments alone, like what they do to create a beautiful working environment for the people there and the families, it's family first. The, from the water to the, um, they have solar panels and they have the clean environment and they choose to not work in certain areas because there's that certain cities do not have the same values and the same morals and the same mission as what they have. They will not work in certain areas because they know that they'd have to lower their standards and they're not willing to lower their standards. Um, and what I love is it's not what, it's not what they're doing, it's why they're doing it. And Ken has a deep purpose to help humanity. Dragon has a deep purpose to help humanity. You have a deep purpose to help humanity because you wouldn't be here. The people that make it in Savvy are the people that wanna make a difference. And I love that because humanity is not lost. <laughs> Some people think humanity is all lost. Everyone's just, it's not lost. We just need more people to raise their hands and partner alongside us and say, humanity is not lost. And there are so many good people out there. And we are out there to help make a difference and bring those people together. And when we walked into Dragon, we saw it. And that was there. And we get to be a part of it. So for me, their alignment with us is breathtaking. It's breathtaking. And that's why we're not going to stop. So good, Holly. Holly, so uh, good. that was so powerful. Oh, no, I can't hear anything. Is it me? Yeah, it's you. Can you hear us? Oh, can you hear I us? can hear you. All okay. right. Quick, yeah. Holly, I, I want to get all the, I want to keep it flowing. And you did such an amazing job, really, right, right to the, to the point. It was so beautiful. Um, can you share with us? What, how did you do without any experience, without not, not that much time in the beginning? Can you just take us really like just really snapshot? How did you grow so fast? What did, how did you do to duplicate your team so fast? What, what do you think was the, the ingredients, even when things weren't as good as what we have right now? 
because I wasn't here to sell clothes. I was here because I, I recognize the vision of Savvy and the heart of Savvy. And it aligns so much with what my mission in and mission is and my purpose and my heart that when you, oh, got goosebumps. When you have a purpose and you see someone else that has the same purpose and you know you can come together and you can bring more people and you can go out into the world and spread the light that we all have inside of us, you can't shut up. You can't stop. You're like, I'm gonna tell everybody. This is amazing. Not everyone's going to align with you. And that's okay. Because not everyone has the same vision and the same purpose. And some people are watching. And that's okay if they don't join you because we are on a massive mission. And we need people that are like us that are going to take this even further when the clothes aren't great, when something falls apart, when things aren't perfect, because we're here for a purpose. Yes. Purposes are not always pretty. So good. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much, Holly. Bye, we love you. So bless you. She was so cute. I sat, got to sit next to her. She kept saying, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Like to see Dragon through the eyes of Holly was truly incredible. And I'm glad that you all got to feel that right now. Thank you so yes. much for sharing. Okay. Over to oh, we our, have Amber Reed or who? Uh, oh, should we go East Coast Amber's first? On. Let's go. I think it was Christy next. And then we'll bring Christy, up. Christy, are you ready? She's always ready. Unmute. Unmute if you're ready. Quick. So I can see you. There we go. I'm ready. Quick. You're ready. ready. All right. So uh, really quickly, Christy was one of, one of the original OGs there in the very beginning when you My heard. My first, yes. Yes, and she <laughs> is one of the most positive leaders in the entire world of what we do for a living. And that's why her team loves her. Yes. She has one of the highest retentions of people that, that are in the company. And, yeah. and there's, a, there's a reason why, because she pours so much love into her team and Holly obviously is one of them. So, and you're kicking butt in the enroller pool and doing all the things and creating Woo! new momentum with new amazing humans. So. <laughs> Christy, give us some more like real good feedback of what, what, what happened to you while you were there. Yes. Well, first I had the opportunity to sit right next to Lisa Van Horn on the table with Ken Porter and it was absolutely priceless. So I just want to ditto and edify everything that she said that that was, that honestly was amazing. And we were all taking notes like crazy. And then everything that Holly said, and I love what you said, Kim, seeing dragon seeing this whole experience through holly's eyes was incredible it was incredible just to see her light and her excitement and the way that she immediately resonated in knowing that we were definitely at the right place and at the right time um and that her yes is 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 making a difference and it is going to impact so many people and i think that that's something to get really excited about before these last few days Here's the thing, guys, if there were any holes, if there were any holes, if there was any anything that maybe was holding you back, I'm here to tell you that they are full, like they are so filled up. And we know that every time we run into barriers, right, um, every time we run into a barrier and we continue to move forward, because believe me, since my yes, my first, my yes with Ken, the best yes that I've ever said outside of marrying my husband, there have been so many barriers. And I'll tell you what, every time that we've continued to move forward and we didn't quit, we are so much stronger and we are always like, oh my gosh, I'm so grateful that I stayed with it. I'm so grateful that I didn't quit. I'm so grateful that I kept moving forward, right? Um, we are so much better and we are so much stronger together. And I can tell you that three days ago, Three days ago, I could never in my wildest dreams imagine that I could be even more in, more all in, in savvy than I am right now, today. I can't even tell you the experience. You guys, you had to be there, but I know that you're going to have the opportunity to experience it as well. But to, to be where we are right now and to be able to witness it, it was everything that we had wished for and hoped for. And honestly, it was what we ran for and as hard as we ran at the very, very beginning. And so all I can say is just take this and run with it like your life depends on it so that you can look back a year later and not have one single regret that you didn't give 100%. And you are going to be so happy. You're going to be so happy that you did that. I know that that's what I'm personally doing. Um, there is, there's nothing stopping me. There's no reason why any of us should not have the vision and the excitement and the fire 
to move forward. So I just wanted to add just a little bit of my two cents there, but it was absolutely amazing. And I, I cannot wait for you guys to experience, to learn more and to see all of the amazing tools and the things that Savvy has coming for us. So, and again, Kim and Tom, thank you so much for just your leadership and everything. Holly, just thank you for being you and your heart and allowing me to see all of this through your eyes because it is, it's really, really, it's really special to be able to do that. That was so extremely well said. How many think this should be in our prospecting community right now? How many of you want the people that are looking at this business <laughs> to see like kind of behind the scenes of what's really happening right now in our company? I think we need to reduplicate this call and put it over there so people, yeah. so more people could see the vision of what we're doing. Yeah. That was so powerful, Christy. So powerful. Oh, so and, powerful. And I just seeing this through your eyes of just now, Christy. Of like, our belief even more. Yeah. Like if you ever ran for savvy, it's now like, and in, in the beginning we ran so fast because we didn't want to miss it. Like we knew that, that everybody was going to hear about savvy and we wanted to be the first to share it. And it was this craze and it's, it, we feel that again. And I love how you shared that just now. So it's, that is, we're on, it's crazy. Yeah. Thank you so much. You, I, I, all these people, all everybody's sharing that they're doing their own team calls, and yet you're here pouring into this. So thank you, thank you so much for taking the time. Should we bring up the crazy girl? The crazy girl. She, you know, I, well, she, this this girl's crazy because <laughs> she raised four boys and a, and a cute little girl, five boys, and her husband's a big kind of kid too. So five five children. And the reason why I call her crazy is because she was crazy enough to do it during those times where we were going through like the like the just the craziness while she was already, she was already making a multiple, she was one of the top income earners in the world for what we do at her company yeah. to transition over here because she, she caught that vision. She knew that God had called her specifically to partner with this crazy, amazing, blessed movement of women. And that is Amber Reed. Well, at least that's what it says in her zoom right now. I'm just <laughs> no, no, it's it, it, just kidding. No, it's Amy, Amy Amy White. White. Thank you, Amy. Yeah. I literally just hopped off an info call with our team and I was logged in as Amber because it's Amber stuff. And so now I'm, I'm Amber tonight. So anyway, um, first of all, y'all, I just want y'all to know that like, I think I've done like a hundred videos today. Cause I'm like, first of all, dressed, like I finally, and my hair is not in a bun. Um, but secondly, because I'm so excited, I really, I, I just can't tell you, I was sitting, I was actually sitting next to Amber when we were at Dragon Crowd and Amber's been in this industry for a long time. And I looked over at her and she's just crying. She was just crying. Cause she just was like, I cannot believe where we are, what this is about, where this is going, this come, I mean, all this manufacturing, I mean, all the things, I mean, who, what's the owner's name? Was it David or he's, who's the CEO of, of Dragon Crowd? Edward, Edward. Edward. Edward, Edward, y'all, he literally looks like Ken. Like they smile and laugh the same. <laughs> I mean, they are the same person. And you can see like his sweet heart just like oozing out just through his smile. I could not be more excited to partner with Dragon Crowd. It has massively elevated our brand. And y'all, that's just the beginning. Like we're going to have, we're going to be going to bigger, other big manufacturers just like that. Like this is just the first of many. And I mean, Lisa, Holly, they've all literally like, they retained a lot more than I even remembered. So I'm glad y'all went first because it literally was amazing. I mean, just seeing all the details, seeing how they do all the color scheme and the water and the stitching and, you know, certain people brought their own clothes because we wanted to kind of see, hey, can we make this satisfied, you know, and, and it was really good for us to sit around the table because, you know, like I've told our team today in my videos, like our, the core of savvy is athleisure, like that's our core. But we're going, so everything has to match that, but we're going to morph into other, I don't know what, I don't know when, but the core, we're a lifestyle company, but the core of us is, is athleisure. And so when we were bringing our stuff and like different people had different kinds of clothes, like Jen would be like, that's not our brand. We're not, no, no, we're not doing that. Okay. Yeah. That's our brand. Okay. Okay. That could be, you know, anything you wear tennis shoes or, you know, a jumper can wear tennis shoes. You can also wear stiletto heels, like with vibe. I mean, there's so many different things, but you know, I really loved watching 
all of that were, is it Tanya? Was it her and her two, you know, little assistants? They had all their paper and they're sitting there just writing notes and Jen's sitting there going, okay, yes, do that. And, okay. And then, you know, and I'm like showing them pictures and we're all showing them pictures and then someone else will show a picture and they're like, that's not our brand. And so it was just like, it was just really cool to see that they are truly wanting to stay on brand because you want people to know who we are as a brand. You don't want to confuse your audience. And so um, that's something that I just absolutely love, but just seeing all of the leaders around and walking around and, and just kind of seeing the vision of where we're going is something that I am like, I need to get my butt back in gear. Like when I first started back in 2019, I started in December of 2019, my goal was to sign eight business partners a month. And y'all, I was doing it. I was doing it. And now I'm like, maybe one, maybe two. And I'm being honest here. Like, heart, heart, it's, you know, it's, it's something that you're just like, why am I not still like going like my hair is on fire? And that is literally where I'm, I'm going now. Like, I'm not going to miss out on where we're going because I'm going to sit here and be worried that everything isn't perfect. No company is perfect and they're working their tails off and our manufacturer is too. And it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful journey. And we want all of y'all on this with us. Like, don't quit too soon. Don't quit too soon. Think about guys, like, think about Michael Jordan. Think about how many times he failed. Think about, you know, all the people that have worked hard and they fail and they fail and they fail. What that's, what's, what is that doing? It's building their character. And so this is character building for all of us. And I'm, I, I love building my character because I know it just makes me a better person. I'm a totally different person today than I was 10 years ago before I joined network marketing. Let this define you. Let you enjoy the journey. Don't get sidetracked by all the sirens because at the end of the day, no matter where you go, you're going to have to work. You will have to literally still reach out no matter where you are, no matter what company you're at. Their grass isn't greener. We have something that no one else has and you are not going to not want to be a part of this. We need to all be drinking the same champagne at the end. And we can, if you are consistent and you show up daily and you keep that positive mindset and you don't go down negative trails and you're focused on your goals and you're so going to be so glad that you stuck with it. So. Mic drop. Chills. Mic drop. We're going to be drinking the same champagne on the beaches of Bora Bora. Yes. <laughs> if that's, everything. if that's you, I want you to put in the comments the yes, first word sometimes. that comes to your mind. If that's going to be you, what's the word that comes to your mind? And if you don't have one, just say heck to the yeah. Heck yeah. If that's going to be you, put Bora Bora, put yes, 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 put champagne. If it's going to be you, are you going to be drinking? And again, if, whether it's virgin champagne or champagne or whatever your drink is, are you going to be drinking it with us in the, in the most amazing places throughout the world celebrating in that feeling of victory? Thank you so much, Amy. That was literally one of the most... Can you feel that? Can you feel like, I mean, I don't know if you know, but we know Amy really well and I could feel that level of elevation. Are you pulling away because of the garlic for lunch I had? You are, you feel <laughs> You're it. fine. But you could feel the energy in, in you, Amy. So yes. thank you so much. You're a yeah. rock star. Love you. Thank you. Guys, I, I want to share really quickly. Kim and I, Kim and I have been doing this for a long time. We've studied every book on duplication. I went to literally a hundred seminars in a row for years, Kim and I. We were in front of the top multimillionaires in network marketing, and we've studied what getting started trainings work, what are the best steps, what are the processes, what's really working now in network marketing, what are the, what are the people doing in the fastest growing companies doing? This is like, this is our, like, if you cut Kim and I open, like, and look at our DNA and our blood, we've been doing this literally before we had a lot of gray hair. Well, I had gray hairs, not you, sorry. But since she was 19 years old, she's 49. Since I was 22 years old, like literally 22 years old, straight, this is pretty much all we've ever done, straight, except for one year. We, I decided to take one year of a sabbatical, one time, right? Start a traditional company. Okay. And, and let me just share. grab the charger. I'll be right back. Yeah, we need the charger. I want to share with you what I know duplicates, not based on theory, not based on doing it like 30 years ago, like what really duplicates. And I'm telling you right now, the, there's a, the, the, the number one thing that I know that duplicates is believe you believing and your team to be infected by that same belief 
and then the next people that you invite to get belief to get that same belief belief that you are in the right place at the right time belief that your system with your up team is a great system and let me just tell you something about network marketing here's the system of network marketing there's no rocket science we talk to people we send them to presentations we follow up and enroll what like if any multi multi-millionaire network market could tell me like the the basic foundation that's what we do Every single person in, in Savvy has done that. We invite humans, we put them in front of presentations, we follow up and we enroll and that's what we do. So the systems work. Uh, we, have the, we have a great product that's only getting better, belief in that. We have, uh, we believe, and here's the, hard, here's the hard part that some people have a hard time with, believe that you can do this. And we, we talk a lot more about that, but just believe that you can do it and believe that no matter what, you're going to win. Do you guys realize that, that Elon Musk Elon Musk, I, I watched a full podcast with him. He thought that he started Tesla, like statistically, it was a 10% chance for it to make it. And he says, I, but what, what he did to make, what he did to do it, to pursue, I mean, to win, is he said, just like Ken Porter and the new, our new partner with Ed, Edward and Dragon Crowd, is that they commit 100%, no matter how hard it gets, no matter how much money it's going to take. They're going to find a way to continually win for us and our family and the dream and this movement and the purpose that we have. And you can't, you can do it. Um, and then here's the thing. And uh, here's the thing that I will tell you from a, from a duplication perspective. And this is what we're going to get back to because we know what worked when we grew to the fastest growing company in the world. And this is what we're doing right now is bringing the right energy and the right emotion, the right FOMO, right? It's, like, and, and where do you put that energy? Where do you put that FOMO? Where do you put that emotion? Where do you put that education about savvy? You put it in the community that you're building, whether you're using info sessions, whether you're using online communities in Facebook, like ATM groups or text broadcasting groups. Because if, if you have, if your team is on fire and the energy is all compressed and people get to hear from Holly O'Brien and Amy White and Courtney Nine and Lauren Santigate and Ken Porter and Kim Challen and all the top people and all the new people that are having success. Kim and I brought in a new person that literally is the top number one enroller in the entire company last month in the customer pool. She's number one this month. And she's just by following the same system. The systems work when people are ready to work, when you're ready to work. So you got to believe in the system you have. You got to put the right energy in there whether it's a, a, a Zoom or an event. And, uh, but the one thing you gotta understand, and I don't, I'm just gonna touch on this really quickly and then open it up if anybody has any questions. What, what we found that kills duplication, you gotta know where it's coming from. What killed duplication was, we went from one or two or three different leader systems to 400. We went from one, one or two threads to like three, like you gotta, there's, as a company gets bigger, that's going to be unavoidable that there will be more leaders doing more things. Unavoidable that people think they've got a better one, two, three system that's really a super galactic getting started system. It doesn't exist, but it will keep growing because as independent entrepreneurs grow, and even corporate will do things, as independent entrepreneurs grow in, in our company, there'll be multiple systems. You need to stay focused with your up teen system or, or the system that you believe in, and you got to put yourself in a bu bubble of energy and belief and excitement. And because I'm telling you the logistics and what do I say is so simple when you have the belief and the confidence and you're taking the action. I'm telling you, when you're taking action, the fear dissipates when you're taking action. And when your voice is almost like mine, like, like I, I fumble with my words and it's not per people will, people want to know what you're doing to bring that energy. So you want to, if you're building in a team, you want to you want to do your best to bring as much energy as you can. Like Amy White was so awesome today. She went. We're going to start doing what we did in the beginning and bring in so many leaders to come in and pr produce uh, provide that energy of the different groups that we're building in, where all your prospects are, and of course your team is. That's why you're going to see a lot more energy. So you won't have to put all the heavy lifting of recruiting based on your skill. You won't have to do all the duplication based on how much you really have to work with your team. Although you want to work with your team, you want to build those relationships. You want to build those connections. You want to help your people succeed. But really when we were growing at our fastest, people that got in told their warm market like crazy because they believed so high, they weren't afraid to call their warm market because they felt they were going to miss out. They felt like if they didn't call their warm market, someone else will. They felt if they didn't call their best friend, someone else will. And I'm going to tell you what right now, if you, if you haven't noticed, we're in that phase again, like, like, 
again, if we had what we had now, we would have been, we would have been doing 30, 40, 50 million. And what that means for you, that kind of numbers is how much of that business would be in your team. Because what we did is created history. It's been a blessing for so many people's lives and it's round two. And if you felt like you missed maybe round one of momentum, do not miss this time. Do not miss this round of momentum. Kim and I and the leaders that you've heard from today, we know how to bring that energy and we're all coming together again to bring the energy. Why? Because we know when we're bringing the energy for you, your people can plug in and feel it on the info sessions, on the Zooms, on the videos that we produce, on the communities that we have in Facebook or across the company. But you got it. You got to have that belief that you can do it. You're in the right place. You're at the right time. The product's good, but it's only getting better. We have the right relationships, but it's only getting better. And I'm telling you, you do not want to miss out when we go international. Build the U.S. Build that foundation. Learn how to learn how to get better with whatever you have to get better with: confidence, posture, people skills, urgency, follow up skills, whatever it needs to be fine tuned. You can figure out that stuff. That's the simple stuff. We'll teach you. Christy will teach you. Lauren will teach you. Courtney Knight will teach you. Holly O'Brien and the leaders. We'll teach you. Susie Newsom is an amazing teacher in the power hours. We have so many leaders that are here to support you. So with that said, thank you so much leaders for popping on on your all leaders. We love you. We're going to build an amazing future together. Appreciate all of you so much. Yeah. You want to say anything really quick? Yeah. I, I don't think there's anything left to say other than we love you and we believe in you. There's a lot of you who you've been here since the beginning. You just haven't had that pop. Don't give up don't give up. Stay plugged in stay close to the fire. Sometimes journeys take that long, but I promise you, even if it took a year or two or five or 10, it's so, so worth it. And you're in, in our opinion, the most fruitful place you could possibly be to win big for your family and create a legacy dream life. Yes. And we're all here. I mean, I just love the leadership literally. I mean, and all the companies have been a part of, we, we come home and say, I can't believe the people we get to do this with. It's different. It's, it's so rare. incredible. It's so, so rare. rare. And you know what we have is just so special. And so we're grateful you're here, no matter what part of the journey you're on. And it's only up from here. And it's going to be big. And we can't wait to celebrate every milestone, drink the same champagne drink and celebrate champagne. I love together. That. I want to use that forever. Courtney Nine or any other Pioneer is partners? Is there anyone here? Yeah, Courtney Nine or any other part, they want to say say hi or want to share anything really quickly as we're wrapping up. I'll say hi. Hi. What's up, Rockstar? Hi. I'll say hi. I did not go out to Dragon um, just because of timing and because of the Savannah event, but I see a lot of people that are on here tonight. We're at the Savannah event. Drop in the chat if you had a good time because I swear the. I came up so lit up, like before even dragon happened, I, I just came away from that and y'all I'm not an event planner and I'm not like leadership is not, I am not Tom and Kim. <laughs> I have not been doing this for 20 something years. I don't have a clue, like what I'm doing. And, but the, it was the most amazing feeling to me that I went into that event as somebody who is forging forward and pioneering and learning this as I go to know that everybody had my back and that I wasn't going to fail. And to me, that's something that is so special within Savvy is that we have a community that is unlike anything else. It truly is. It is 100%. It's about, to me, it is so important. And so that everybody is, is 100% accepted and really, I can't even put into words how much Jen sat here and poured into everybody and for hours and just everything like the fashion Friday, when you don't know, I think I want to encourage everybody to like, if you're not sure, like what your influence is, what your why is what you're like, my passion is service. My passion has always been service. And I've always been like led by that, but I didn't know how and seeing fashion Friday come together was just a gift for me. But knowing too, like I've gotten so many calls, Tom and Kim called and I've talked to Amy and Amber and Jesse and all like, I've heard from so many people right after that with Dragon, like not only like having that experience, but then knowing that that is going to 10 times, like that is going to be 10 times what it is now. And it's going to go global and we're going to have everything with this partnership and just where we're going, that combination 
I just feel like dream bigger, y'all. Dream bigger than you are dreaming right now because between what we have in our community and what we have in the people and, you know, just keep outflowing, keep sharing, keep being passionate, keep showing up. Where we're going is so much more than any of us can possibly imagine. And I say that with experience because I couldn't have possibly imagined where we are right now, but now I'm like 10 times thinking how much bigger, how much more influence, how much we can do, how that ripple can happen. And that energy, that excitement, like Tom just was talking about, like that belief, if you are here in Savannah, I know you have it. If you were there in Dragon, I know you have it. Like hold on to that though, bottle it up. And remember it and don't let that go because we have a gift that we have to share with other people. And I, I feel more just like, I feel like I have a duty, like it is my duty to make sure that I'm sharing this with every single person, because I don't want anybody to miss this opportunity, whether or not they want it, like that's not anything to do with me, but I need to share with as many people as quick as I possibly can right now, like. I'm just so pumped about every aspect of it. So that's it. I know it's really late and I don't want to take up a bunch more time, but I just, I did want to share that because I do think like, I, I really appreciated how much everybody accepted my style. It just, it came. I love how our company truly is come as you are. And I think that that is so unique and that's going to be something that we have that we get to share. So good. We had so much FOMO watching everything. It was the worst. What you put the together. The worst. It was like a world class <laughs> event. And we are coming to Savannah. I just, I was like, man, this is so special here. But I just want to highlight just who you are. And heart. your heart and soul of what you pour into Savvy. Um, the impact that you make and how you inspire, not just us, but the founders of the company to always get back. So thank you. We're so blessed you're a part of Savvy. Thank you for your leadership. Yeah. So thank you for making us a better leader. How, uh, thank you, uh, Courtney. Whatever, you. Tom. Whatever, no, Tom. Whatever, Tom. <laughs> There's a TikTok right now. Thank you for making me a better leader. Love you. Courtney, thank we you love you sharing. so much. No, I love y'all. Thank every one of these. I mean, I'm so inspired by everybody that spoke tonight. And just, I just, we all need to level up. Like literally we all need to level up. We all need to really dig deep and just get past everything, every self-limiting belief and realize it's bigger. It's something bigger so, we have to do. So good. It is time. The call to action for all of us right now is breathe life into whatever thread you're in. Yeah. Start breathing life into the Facebook communities, training or prospecting if you're using those or Zooms. Start edifying the up team, your cross team, your down team, the corporate team, the start breathing life. We are going to be the company that attracts the, that sucks the shoes off people because we're going to be the life breathers. We're yes. going to be the company that changes people's lives World because changers. we're going to love on people. It talks about in the Bible that if, if you think it, you become it. If you speak it, it happens. You can move a mountain literally with the power of what God has created in you. So you can, we can change the world together. It's much bigger than leggings. Trust me, yes. I wouldn't be here if it was for leggings, right? And this is a woman's movement, but I want to support women. And it's also extremely financially lucrative for men and or women, but it's mostly obviously for women. But um, so, you. so start, oh, thank you. Breathe life into people. But I want to, I want to really quickly, I want everybody to come and just, I want to say, I just want to highlight everybody really quickly. I want to see you're all on the, our big screen right here. Am I off the screen? Christina Watts, I cannot tell you how much we missed you the last couple of days. Like torture, not having you there. Great to see you on here. Hawaii looked amazing. Yeah, it was, I was really sad to miss it, but I'm also really happy to have spent so much time on the beach in some sunshine. <laughs> You're so tan. I'm like, I'm, so tan. I'm, I'm like, I am so brown right now. Story <laughs> of all my colors. <laughs> so good. Can't wait to see you all in Mexico. Oh yes. my gosh. How many more sleeps? A couple, a few sleeps away. If you, hey, by the way, if you're not going, like we'll sneak you in. We'll like, you know, we'll figure out a way. Anyways, I'm, I'm just, I mean, maybe, I, I don't know. Anything's possible. Nikki, you're doing this thing, girl. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki P, you're doing this thing and you're doing it big. You are supposed to be a top earner only because you're going to bless thousands of people's lives. I know you were called here and I know it's time to just lock into 100% that know that you can do it and that you're going to be blessing so many people's lives, including all of us, because you did.
Yes. I just feel that so and strongly amen. with you. You too, Lisa. Coyote, uh, right? Did I get it right now? You got it right. Ruba, let's go. You got it right. Ruba. Sunny. Yes. Sunny, you Sunny. are you are a top leader. I can't tell that. Like, look at you and Amy White. Amy White is already currently a top leader, but what's the difference between you and Amy White? You guys are similar ages. You guys are both beautiful, big smiles. What's in what's in you? Uh, you're you are a top leader as well. You are a top leader that's gonna bless so many people's lives. Yes. What? What? Ruth Ann. Oh, oh of course, gosh. Ruth Ann too. <laughs> Ruth Ann. Forget the real estate crap. No, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. Keep doing your real estate. But come on, girl, you know, you, you know, you're going to win big here. You know, so you're a competitive big. girl. You want to win big. You're winning in real estate. It's time to win big here now, girl. So big. Oh my gosh. And forget about it, Jack Weiss. Come on. Like these are like, oh, geez. I saw Barbara Bonds in here. Where's Barbara Bonds? She not on video? Barbara Bonds? Where'd come on. Have? Yes. Let's go, Mariah. You're hungry. I know you're hungry. That's why you're on almost every training. It's time to get Hi. in the Let's get in the most action we can and bless so many lives. Thank yeah. you so much Love you. for being here. Love you all um, so much. And if anybody wants to Zoom, if you're a, a pioneer, any pioneer partner that needs a Zoom for your community, let us know. God Go bless you all. Unmute. unmute and just give some shout outs, everybody. Love you all. Thank you, Tommy Kim. Thank, oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.